And on this, all right, and on this day before the D-Day anniversary, NBC senior correspondent Tom Brokaw gives us his thoughts on that defining moment for the greatest generations, our country, and the world. I was a child of World War II, living on an army base when the war ended. And by the time of the 40th anniversary of D-Day, I was anchor of NBC Nightly News. So I decided to go to Normandy for the 40th anniversary. It changed my life. Now, you guys haven't been back here in 40 years. Right. That's right, Tom. First time back. Yeah. I walked the beaches with veteran Gino Murley, who earned the Medal of Honor, and Harry Garten. Omaha Beach, serene when we were there, but on June 6, 1944, it was a killing field. These were the only D-Day photographs. We'll see you on the beach. But Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks captured the mayhem and the terror in Saving Private Ryan. You could hear the, the shells screaming overhead, and then you could see the assault craft coming in all along the edge of the beach. Door went down. Right. What's the first thing you saw? We saw a dead medic floating in the water. And believe you me, I was petrified. I couldn't talk, I couldn't move until the sergeant gave the orders, move out. The chaos and the death went on all day long, the longest day. The Allies were now taking the fight to the Germans. Ray Lambert was a hero medic on the beach, dragging the wounded behind a large boulder to protect them from the Germans who were firing from above. There are not many of these kinds of plaques dedicated to combat medics. Sergeant Arnold Ray Lambert set up the first casualty collection point on Omaha Beach. Yeah. That will live forever. Yeah. No greater legacy, Ray, yeah. for that. Yeah. You're a great American. Well, thank you, sir. God saved you for a good reason. Well, I hope I've done the right thing. There are many tributes to that day and the fighting still to come. None more memorable than Colville sur Mer, the American cemetery overlooking Omaha. On one of my visits, I tried to sum it all up. This is why we're here. Here above the beaches of Normandy, just beyond the water, that brought liberty at a great sacrifice. For those who survived that day, and for so many others, this is a journey of honor and remembrance. Now, in their late 80s and 90s, their lives are coming to a close, but their legacy can never be dimmed. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.